Okay, so I hope you can actually read the writing on this one. Uh, this is the similar triangle application for what they usually use for a river or gorge measurement. Now, this is like an inaccessible river, so you're stuck on one side. So we'll draw us over here. Wait, get that on my pencil tool. So we'll draw someone over here, let's say this girl. So she's over there, stick girl. And she wants to measure how long this river is. Now, usually what they'll do is they'll just draw the picture for you, but I wanted to come up with a question. So here is a detailed description of how you can actually use this to measure a river or a gorge or something inaccessible. Uh, to measure an inaccessible river width, a girl uses a rock on the other bank. Okay, so do do do. here's a rock. Cool, now it's gotta be close to the bank. Standing directly across from the rock, so she is going to start from here, directly across from the rock, she walks five meters down the bank and puts in a stake. So five meters down here. Now she'll drop a stake right there. She continues to walk seven meters more down the bank. So might as well put some numbers here. This was five and then she will continue to walk seven. Why she does that is just to make this a little bit harder for the math. Uh, she continues to walk seven meters down the bank. She then walks out perpendicular to the bank, so we go perpendicular out from the bank, until she sees the stake and the rock in the same line. Now, what they mean by this is they're going to look straight through like that. Now, that should really be going through the bottom of the stake, but whatever, I'll just move my stake over a bit. Okay, so that's the plan, and now, because we were perpendicular to the rock across the bank and we walked out perpendicular here and we walk straight down the bank we get similar triangles by opposite angles here and by that 90 degree angle cool now if she walks 12 meters out from the bank the 12 goes here how wide is the bank the X is here did I say how wide is the bank duh how wide is the river okay that makes more sense Okay, so that is very verbose. What will usually happen here is they will usually draw you a picture. They don't usually try to make you draw a picture from this because that's crazy. Well, solve it. So given this picture, solve it. X goes over top of its corresponding side, which is 12. I did this triangle over this triangle, little over big. So I do little over big, five over seven corresponds. I multiply that up and X equals, I'm gonna go to a decimal here. Well, it equals 8.6. Yeah, I paused it and went to a calculator there. Now, it's actually 8.57, but really, if you're gonna carry something like this out, you are not getting two decimal places of accuracy anyways. So I'd say like even nine would be a good estimation. Uh, therefore, therefore, the river is nine meters wide. Ah, uh, no, let's keep it 8.6. Maybe she was very accurate about her measurements. Okay, cool, so that's all you gotta do. Now, again, what's gonna happen here is usually they will just give you this picture. So say there's an inaccessible gorge there, it's 100 feet down, you don't wanna try to jump over it, and this will be drawn for you. So there's right angles there, these distances will be given, this is the X that you're trying to solve, and you set it up. Now. If you actually are going to carry this out in real life, don't walk five and then seven. That would be ridiculous. Go 10 and then 10. If this is 10 and this is 10, then you have congruent triangles. And then whatever you have to walk out from the bank in order to see through your stake and your other object on the other side is exactly the same as X. So whatever you have to walk out is the distance, the width of the river or the gorge. So if you ever have to do this in real life, oh yeah, math is useful in real life. Make it congruent. It's way easier. You don't have to do math. Well, you are doing math. You don't have to do difficult math. So let's say you walked out five. It's five, because here it's congruent. That's what you would like to do. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I think you get it. Here's your picture. Solve for X. Put it over its corresponding. Cross multiply. If you don't know that, watch the earlier videos.